So understand that the crisis we see in our country, Jalela Jamar was the 18th transgender black American woman that has been killed this year alone. And this is not an anomaly this year. We have seen the same levels of violence in the previous years. Now look, I, I take again the words of Martin Luther King who said very clearly, you, you can't pass legislation to make someone love me, but you can pass legislation to stop them from lynching me. Mm -hmm. you, you can't pass legislation to uh, change the heartless, uh, uh, but to change someone's heart, but you could pass legislation to restrain the heartless. And so we have to start right there. We have to start with the protections that are not in place in this country that prevent violence and discrimination. And that's everything from things I've heard talked about already tonight from the Equality Act all the way to having two critical leaders in my cabinet, a, a, a Secretary of Education and a Attorney General that will, that will be focused on this issue. But it goes even deeper than that. We have a problem with violence coming from police themselves. In, 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 and we know this. We may be years from Stonewall, but I saw this with my own police department, that they weren't having the training that they needed to make sure that they are not discriminating, whether it's implicit racial bias, uh, uh, transphobia. We, we have to make sure from the Justice Department that all law enforcement are seen as a safe place to go. In addition to that, we must begin to deal with the issues facing youth because the bullying and the discrimination 30% of LGBTQ youth, 30% right now, report not going to school, missing a day of school in the last month because of fear. And so the final thing I'll say to this question is it's not only the legislative things that we can do, it's not only the things I can do by building a cabinet that will be focused on these issues, but it's about time that we have a woke president on